Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach is the biggest game in the entire series, and with that comes the most amount of mystery we've ever had in one game alone. One of the biggest mysteries in the game has to do with the secret CDs you can find throughout the Pizzaplex. These CDs appear to be therapy logs of Vanessa and one other character, dubbed Patient 46, due to the numbers on the logs. The big mystery about these CDs being who is Patient 46. Most of the theories about Patient 46 are usually interesting or weird. Some people think it's Gregory, some people think it's Gregory as a robot, some people think it's a character that's been dead for decades in the franchise. But with this theory, I'm gonna try to show that the answer might be a little more clear and less confusing than we first thought. Before we start with the theory though, let's take a look at the CDs. An interesting thing about these CDs is there's different ways to order them. Now, there's the obvious 1 through 16 that they're already pre-ordered in. However, it appears there's a chronological order with the last two digits of each CD. The 71 series of CDs being labeled from 39 to 46, and the 46 series of CDs being labeled from 72 to 79. If you have the CDs in the order that they come in, 1 through 16, it appears that these CDs are out of order, and the correct chronological order is the numbers of the last two digits of each CD. So when we take a look at these CDs, I'm going to be putting them in the chronological order. The first CD, aka 7139, really only mentions Vanessa and the encrypted conversation she's been having on Company Time within Fazbear Entertainment. The next CD, 7140, is the first mention of Vanessa's parents and tragic past, the custody battle between her parents, what happened to her mother, and her abusive father. The next CD, 7141, is about the encrypted conversations again, with Vanessa saying at the end, Lots of people know more than I do. Sometimes I need to listen. Which sounds rather ominous and appears to have a second meaning. The next CD, 7142, reveals not much. It's really only Vanessa doesn't like candy, has the first inkblot test, and Vanessa likes the outdoors. The next CD, 7143, Vanessa enjoys flowers and doesn't like dark basements, which again sounds very ominous. The next CD, 7144, doesn't reveal much again. It's only Vanessa is comfy in a chair, which people find interesting for some reason, and that Vanessa has an NDA about working at Fazbear Entertainment, a non-disclosure agreement. The next CD, 7145, begins with Vanessa stating that she enjoys the blue sky. It later goes on to the therapist asking about why did Vanessa order what appears to be parts for a costume on company time. Vanessa then goes on to say, Did you say the costume is a secret? Why is that? I can't talk about this. He said he would always be watching. He could be here, or there, or anywhere in between. The therapist thinks Vanessa is talking about her father, but honestly, it does not sound like that at all. The last CD with Vanessa talking, 7146, the therapist asks Vanessa about transferring to the Pizzaplex, and says that they could still work together even though Vanessa won't be working in the same location. However, Vanessa says, I'm needed somewhere else now. Thank you. Now we're on the next series of CDs, aka the Patient 46 CDs. One small note, when put in chronological order, the CDs go from 7146 to 4672. The numbers have been flipped. It's an interesting detail that we'll get back to later. The first 46 CD is 4672. In this CD, the therapist just states that the patient enjoys dark spaces. Not much on this CD. On the next CD, 4673, it states that the patient does not like flowers, isn't comfortable in the chair, is a troublemaker, and is a phenom with computers, aka they are very skilled with technology, and is called a hacker by the therapist. In CD 4674, it's stated that the patient enjoys candy, and has talked about their past in an objective narrative, almost like they're reading it from a book, and not really something they themselves have experienced. In 4675, the therapist notes that they work with ages from little kids to old people. 
This is an interesting note considering a lot of people think patient 46 is in fact a child. I don't think the therapist would need to say that they work with children if the patient is a child. That wouldn't really make sense. It would be like, well, that's kind of obvious if they were a child. So I believe this is a hint that they are not a child. CD4676 states that the patient does not enjoy being outside. This is also the first and only time that we hear that the three previous therapists have been killed. Or two are missing, one has been killed, but it's most likely that the other two are killed too. Just haven't been found. In 4677, we hear that the therapist talks about the texts in the Pizzaplex that are suspicious about the subject, claiming that the subject hacked the Pizzaplex many times. This implies that the employees of the Pizzaplex know of this subject. The therapist then asks the subject about back and forth messages they've been receiving, but it looks like the messages are to themselves. In CD4678, the therapist talks to the subject about them having an inkblot test in their file. They then go on to do an inkblot test, and the subject states that the inkblot looks like a mask, and they enjoy being disguised, and with a disguise, they could do just about anything and not being caught, and they enjoy that idea. The therapist then goes on to ask the patient about the back and forth messages, and how they seem manipulative in nature. However, the therapist remarks that it looks like the patient is the one who's doing the manipulating. In the final CD, 4679, the therapist states that the animatronics of the Pizzaplex are appearing more eerie than entertaining. The therapist also states that the patient has been lying about their past. The patient claiming that they have a tragic past and a bad history with their parents. However, after the therapist does the research, it seems that this is all a lie that the patient has made up. Now that I've reviewed all the CDs, I believe that patient 46 is, in fact, Vanessa. Let me explain. This is where the theory really begins. First, let's go back and take a look at CD 7140, the first mention of Vanessa's parents and her tragic past. It's revealed that Vanessa went through a custody battle, something bad happened to her mother, and she had an abusive father. And then in the final CD, 4679, the therapist talks about how the patient lied about having a tragic past about their parents, with the truth being that they had great parents and, for some reason, lied. In CD 7142, Vanessa is asked if they've ever done an inkblot test. After saying no, they proceed to do one. In CD 4678, the therapist talks about how the patient has inkblot test results on their file. And then in CD 7145, the therapist talks to Vanessa about Vanessa ordering supplies for a costume. And then back into CD 7648, the patient says that the inkblot test looks like a mask, and they enjoy being disguised. There is a ton of similarities between Vanessa and patient 46. Not even to mention how in both the 71 CDs and the 46 CDs, the therapists ask the patients about the back and forth conversations they appear to be having with themselves. And there's also the fact that Vanessa used to work in the IT department with computers, and that patient 46 is also good with computers. There's tons and tons of similarities between patient 46 and Vanessa, however there's also this similarities, I, I guess you could call it? There's a lot of things that seem to be opposite with patient 46 and Vanessa. For instance, Vanessa doesn't enjoy candy, but patient 46 does. Vanessa likes the bright sunny outdoors, but patient 46 likes the darkness of the inside. Vanessa likes flowers, patient 46 doesn't like flowers. They both have exact opposite likings, like their flipped personalities. And that is what brings me back to the chronological order of these CDs. As I mentioned earlier in the video, the chronological order of these CDs is 7139 through 7146, and then 4672 to 4679. In the middle of these CDs, the number placement is flipped. It's still the 70s and the 40s, just in different places. In the first CD, 7139, we're introduced to Vanessa. And then in 7146, the last CD where Vanessa speaks, the only thing she says is... I'm needed somewhere else now. Thank you. The tone of this being very ominous, Vanessa saying she's needed somewhere else, this appears to be referring to the Pizzaplex. 
However, when compared to the other lines similar to this, of her saying, I can't talk about this. He said he would always be watching. He could be here, or there, or anywhere in between. As well as saying, Lots of people know more than I do. Sometimes I need to listen. All of these more ominous sounding lines sound like Glitchtrap is watching Vanessa, scaring Vanessa into listening to him and not letting her talk or ask for help to other people. What I believe is going on is Vanessa is slowly being taken over by Glitchtrap, and when she says I'm needed somewhere else, that is when Glitchtrap fully takes over, which is why in the 46 CDs she does not speak. Glitchtrap has just taken over her and either doesn't know how to speak yet or would prefer not to. And this is where the alternate personality comes in. This more childlike personality that takes over Vanessa is really just Glitchtrap controlling Vanessa. This personality being Vanny. You can see this even more when comparing the behavior of Glitchtrap in Help Wanted to Vanny. Both Vanny and Glitchtrap wave before they're about to kill you and like to dance around. Basically both of them having the same demeanors and behaviors. And for the back and forth messages we hear about, we can take this as the two sides of Vanessa communicating with one another. One side leaving a message for the other side to answer. With the side that Glitchtrap is controlling, the quote-unquote Patient 46 side, being the one manipulating Vanessa, as we see in CD 4678. Alright, now let's recap real quick. The therapy CDs in Security Breach, when put in chronological order, show the timeline of Vanessa being slowly taken over by Glitchtrap discreetly showing how Glitchtrap manipulates Vanessa until Glitchtrap fully takes over Vanessa in the last six CDs. The numbers of the CDs, 71 and 76, represent Vanessa and the two different sides to her, Vanessa and Vanny, with these numbers flipping places to represent who is in control. Now that the main theory is over, there are some things I want to talk about. First being how Vanessa's father is supposedly named Bill. Um, however, it is shown that Vanessa was lying about her past, so she could have been lying about that as well. But the thing that I'm kind of interested in is that I believe this fake backstory could have been um, William's backstory. I mainly think this because of the line the therapist says about how the backstory was explained in a objective narrative, like it was being read rather than, or like read from a book rather than spoken from memory. So what I'm thinking is this is William's backstory spoken by Vanessa, and the main reason I think so is because I think William might actually be William Jr. This is a very common naming scheme that many people aren't really aware of. Trust me, I would know. I was originally going to be named after my dad, but that ended up not being the case. Even then, I still share the same middle name as my dad, so... And who knows, maybe it would bring clarification to the juniors thing we see in Midnight Motorist. But again, that part is merely speculation. The whole entire Bill thing is kind of just weird and personally I think it could just be world building. The next thing that I forgot to mention is that it's told uh, quote unquote patient 46 is seen talking to something with rabbit ears. I believe this is Vanessa talking to Glitztrap or William in some kind of way. Or who knows maybe like Glamark Bonnie or something. There's also the fact that patient 46 doesn't really care that their previous therapists have died or are missing, and this is most likely because Patient 46, being Vanny, probably killed them because they were like getting suspicious. But uh, yeah, those are just some little notes that I wanted to go over because I didn't know how to fit them into the main theory, but I do think they're very worth mentioning. I feel like a lot of times when people talk about Patient 46, they forget which which dialogues go with which CD, which is which is important because like a lot of people think like, oh, Vanessa said this, so oh, Vanessa said that, when it was actually stuff about Vanessa 
in the 46 logs, like, like the, uh, back and forth conversations, the, um, her lying about her parents, stuff like that. And that was, like, the main point of this video, because I never really seen anyone match up the dialogues to the order number, or, like, put them chronologically. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Feel free to comment and tell me what you think. If you liked the video, feel free to subscribe. If you didn't like the video, feel free to subscribe, because you might like a different video. Anyways, have a great day, night, or heat death of the universe, depending on what time you're watching, and goodbye.